something that I'm seeing a lot in so many builds on Squarespace is blocks that are overlapping that shouldn't be overlapping. So think a text block going over another text block and the text then being illegible. Think two images that collide and not in the good way, like it doesn't look arty, it just looks terrible. And there's one really specific reason for this and it's so easy to avoid. So I'm gonna show you how to stop your blocks unnecessarily overlapping when screen sizes shrink. I'm in the editor here and you can see, okay, we've got this text, lines up with this text, great. But what happens if we shrink down the window? Look at that. It looks perfect up to here, great. Then when the text wraps and as it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, what happens is it just goes to pot. I could have swore there, but I didn't. So it goes to pot. Now the reason for this is this, and people make this mistake all the time. I have clients that do, I've even had staff members who've, who've done this and I've had to tell them, no, it doesn't work like that, blah, blah, blah. So what we need to do is we wanna make sure that our blocks are never overlapping at all. So now when we shrink down this, it doesn't matter how small the, uh, the window goes, these never overlap, they become far more responsive. And this is how you should be building your Squarespace sections because when you start to try and like line things up really closely like this on one screen size, then it, it doesn't work on all screen sizes and, and you're potentially looking really, really bad to a lot of different visitors. So if you wanna get them closer, what you can do is you can go into edit section and then you can tighten it up like that. So you, with, if we look at the grid, you've got the spaces, but you can tighten it up. And you can go even further if you wanna get them super close, click on the vertical alignment and get them really, and that looks stupid, but you can get them that close. You know, you can play around with the, the spacing without having to overlap. So now when we go and shrink here, you can see it doesn't overlap no matter what the size of the screen. So hopefully that will help because this is a mistake that I see loads and loads of people making on Squarespace. So hopefully that helps. If it did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.